What is up internet? I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to play original Xbox games online using Xlink High. To play Xbox games online, uh, make sure to check the back of the game to see if they are compatible with the system link feature. So even if they may have online multiplayer, not all the time will they have system link. So with Halo 2 for example, it says compatible with uh, system link up to 16 players whereas Battlefield 2 Modern Combat is not compatible with System Link despite having online multiplayer back in the day. So X-Link High will only work with games that have System Link not online uh, servers though if that makes any sense. So X-Link High is a tunneling software service that uh, tricks your Xbox into thinking you're connected to a system link match rather than an online match. So, um, normally system link would be done with taking your Xbox console with your Ethernet cable, plugging it into the back, and then with the other end, you can either plug it to a modem for uh, more Xboxes connected or just directly to the back. Uh, it may vary case by case like that and then of course each Xbox or user would have their own TV and their own copy of the game so the goal of this software is to trick the consoles into thinking they're hooked up directly when the tunneling service actually connects players online to add on this also works between um, different generations of Xbox consoles so if you're playing original Xbox games that are compatible on Xbox 360 and Xbox One, it should work. However, um, there are some things you should know when it comes to the Xbox One and digital versions of original Xbox games on the 360. I've already made a separate video regarding that with Star Wars Battlefront, but um, because they might have different title updates um, there will be compatibility issues if you're just using like the 1.0 version of the disc. However, it may vary if you're using a Platinum Hits disc, such as Mech Assault. Um, that one should have like the title update on the disc. Now to um, make sure to get the connection online, you need to download the software Xlink Kai. So just search it up on your Google tab and click on the link. Uh, make sure you create an account and then just download the uh, the software. This is also compatible with um, Mac too. So for any Mac users, you'll be able to play Xbox Online. This also works with PS2 and a couple other consoles, but for this tutorial, it will be for the original Xbox. Now, uh, before I was able to download like a shortcut tab on my MacBook when I. Uh, downloaded it years ago. However, since I moved on to Windows, um, I had this issue where I had to open up Google Chrome, for example, um, and then just press the Windows key and then enter Start Kai. So just do that, and then it should log you in. And make sure to have a uh, have it to remember your password so this will be what you see um, you want to go to game arenas and this will show you all the consoles compatible with and what's cool about it is that you can select the game I mean select the console um, it'll have different genres and you can click on within the genre like first-person shooters and it'll show you all the compatible games along with uh, how many people are present there. Okay, so your cable management may vary compared to others, but this is how my setup is. So I just have this little um, modem here with uh, several lines connected. Uh, and this just makes it easy for me because I have several consoles here. So um, this yellow one is my main one. That is connected to my laptop. This also works with um, normal desktops um, you know it's easier to use it with a laptop just because the uh, portability I could just move it around so um, make sure your Ethernet cable is plugged in 
to your laptop, um, have it plugged into here, and then I have um, this black cord, the Ethernet line, connected to my original Xbox. Um, I also have this blue cable connected to my Xbox 360 way over there, and so on. I can add more cables too if I want to play my Xbox One or my PS2. So Now, you don't need to use a uh, modem. Um, you could literally just have, um, say, your Xbox 360 directly connected to your computer or laptop, and that will work just fine. Um, like I said, your setup may vary. I just have this modem. That way I can have multiple consoles connected rather than having to unplug it and share like a single um, Ethernet cable. Once everything's hooked up, you can just turn on your Xbox and insert the game of your choosing. Lastly, to connect, uh, make sure you have the software running first before you turn on your Xbox or whatever console you're using. Once everything is plugged in, turn on the console, um, give it a few seconds or a minute or two, and you want to check the metrics, which is up here. If it can focus, here it is. Once you check your metrics, you want to see if your consoles are connected. Um, it says Xbox console, so that's working. If it picks up other consoles, like it says Nintendo console, um, it's probably just my, my Nintendo Switch connected to the Wi-Fi. I personally don't play it on X-Link, so you know if you see other stuff, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, sometimes it won't show up with the PS2. Um, from my experience with the PS2, you have to be playing the game and searching for a system link or um, a network before it will show um, your PS2 in the metrics. So next you want to hover over to the game that you're going to play online. So we're going to use Halo 2. Halo 2 um, has this region specific thing. All other games, they don't really have it, like Call of Duty, for example. Actually, Call of Duty does have it, but I don't play that. Um, yeah, like this one, Commando, Strike Force, uh, I know Star Wars Battlefront even, Counter-Strike. They usually just have, like, no other little windows. But Halo 2 um, is definitely a more popular game in Latin America. Sometimes there'll be, like, U.S. stuff, and other times there'll be um, modded servers, too, if you have a modded Xbox. So we'll just click on that, and then the uh, Solos Retos uh, server. And when you hover back to your TV, just make sure to select System Link. And there you go, you have your servers. And oh look, capture the flag. Uh, oh, it's closed, never mind. But yeah, you can join as long as the server's open.
so the perks of my setup um, with having multiple systems plugged into a modem and then after that having that feed towards my laptop is I can host dedicated servers for certain games such as Star Wars Battlefront 2 so on one Xbox here I could just uh, host it as dedicated uh, let me just go back And that can run a dedicated server, meaning it can have much more stable connections. The AI won't be as dumb. Um, and just much better connections overall with even people in different countries. So over here on my 360, I could just connect. Should be loading up soon. There it is. And right there, that's the dedicated host. So it shows the map in real time along with all the other players, including AI. And as long as I'm connected to Excellent Kai and specifically the Star Wars Battlefront 2 uh, lobby, uh, other people can join in. So that's pretty cool. And just like that, that's how you play online in Excellent Kai. Thank you all for watching. Hope this answered all your questions. Um, any other questions, just ask me in the comment section. I'll try to message back as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, so that's Excellent Kai. That's how you play. This also works with PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. I think like some Xbox One games, uh, like Black Ops 2. Or no, Black Ops 3 and Master Chief Collection, but... It's a case-by-case -case basis, um, but with original Xbox and PS2, as long as you have System Link uh, compatible games, um, then you should be good. Once again, thank you all for watching, and have a good one.